What up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and pets of all ages? It's your boy GS, aka Mr. Golden Mutts. And today, we are bringing you guys week four of season three on Road to the Super Bowl, and hopefully, we can continue our success winning the first three games that we've played up uh, so far. I want to apologize for no videos being up yesterday. I was. I'm still sick, but yesterday was one of the worst days of me being sick, of vomiting, just really not feeling good. I mean, as you can tell, I'm not sounding good. I know I'm not sounding good as I'm doing these commentaries, man. Uh, definitely feel better than yesterday, but still sick. So let's get into a look at his team. He's got Matt Ryan, which is good. I don't got to worry about any mobile quarterback. Shane Vereen, look at me unable to just go down in the depth chart. That just lets you know how laggy it was. I'm struggling to even hit left trigger and go down because it was definitely laggy. Uh, his offensive line is is decent. You know, nothing over spectacular. You know, a couple mid to high 80s. You know, he definitely has uh, somewhat the same offensive line as I have. Uh, you know, team is pretty good. You know what I mean? But not overwhelmingly stacked. You know, so I would definitely say uh, our teams are very similar. So uh, hopefully we can go on ahead and, you know, play well. You know, we're not at a disadvantage of going up against somebody who has a far superior team. So, as long as we play good, play smart, we should be okay. And uh, he converts on a long third down right there, which definitely, definitely sucked. Hate giving up long third down conversions. Uh, really quickly, tonight at 10 o'clock, the second video. Today will be me against Master Moyer. He is a uh, streamer. And right there, he throws it up, and I'm sorry, son, but no, some of you, give it to me, baby. You just been carjacked, son. Don't test the carro. Don't go anywhere near my vehicle. My vehicle isn't somebody you want to test, son. It's just not going to work out. It's just not going to work out. Just don't do it. Um, Master Moyer has a 98 overall team, so I will be uploading my game against him. And his team is by far the best team I've played. And one of the best teams I've seen in general. Like, his team is nasty. Like, it makes you look at your team like, damn, I, I, I got a lot of work to do. This guy's team is stacked. So, here we go on offense, man. You see me mixing it up between RG3 and Tannehill. Tannehill is the better thrower. RG3 is the better runner. So, I'm definitely, you know, mixing it up, giving me a nice little hybrid of, uh, you know, dual quarterbacks. And, you know, just sprinkling in, you know, between the both of them. So, right here, we actually got Tannehill get loose on the read option. Scampering on into the end zone. Being able to score on our first possession, which is always a good thing, especially after being able to uh, stop him on his first possession. So, you know, we get ball at halftime. We are already up one possession. So, let's see. This guy was just, look at him. Look at the spins. Look, look at him. Just spinning his way down the field. Getting yards. Nobody could, could tackle the spin cycle. It was crazy. So, um, here we go back on defense. All we're looking for is hopefully one more stop. You know, one more stop. This game is potentially over. You know, we can score and get ball at halftime. And, you know, it, it's, it'll be bad news for him if, if it works out that way. So, fourth and two right here. He backs up. He's looking. He goes over towards the left. Ah! And he ends up finding an open receiver by just about half a yard. We were trailing a little bit, so good find by him. Here we go. He's trying to hit us with the play action. Goes over towards the left. And Delvin's got other plays. He's like, thank you, come again. I was wide open. Problem is, I play for the other team, and he could go all the way as he goes into the end zone, giving us a 14-all lead. And as I said, we get ball at halftime, so now... We can possibly do what I said last situation. Stop them, score, get ball at halftime. You know, we can still be able to do that. There's still plenty of time left on the clock. We both have our three timeouts, so let's see if we can work on getting another score before half. So uh, he's definitely in passing situation, you know, so I really don't have to worry about the run. You know, it just gives me an opportunity to key in on the pass. Now, he is coming out like a five receiver set, uh, and that right there is tricky. You know, guarding five receivers can be difficult at times right there he goes over the middle throws a strike and he's end up getting a first down he's definitely making good reads this drive so right here he rolls out extends the pocket throws you know off his back foot across his body and gets a first down nice throw right there by matt ryan right here he goes over the middle throws a beautiful pass and he ends up uh getting into the end zone no no one yard line actually we call timeout Following play, he gets into the end zone. So now, hopefully, we can just go on ahead and retaliate 
and be able to get ball at halftime. Because right now it is a one-score lead, so I would definitely take a field goal, any type of score that goes on ahead and allows me to get back that multiple possession lead. So uh, here we go with RG3. We hit the read option. Try to hit the outside. I was hoping for an early dive. But unfortunately, he played the sidelines pretty well. So we uh, no huddled. We went back to the same play. And uh, right here, we got to call a timeout. We definitely need a big play to get downfield. Quick out route to Underwood. And uh, we end up just getting out of bounds. Now, we have one timeout. So I feel like we got a couple chances to maybe try to see if we could get something going towards the end zone. We try one out route. Now, we look, and there's 11 seconds left. And I feel like that's good enough for maybe one try. Considering we got a timeout. And I go up the middle. Whoop. Tried to hurt it. Uh, we got to waste our timeout. We can stop that about the two. And we don't want to take any chances. We're going to take our field goal. Play it safe. Get ball back at halftime with the lead. That's exactly what happened. So, you know, we didn't want to uh, try and be greedy. Go for it. And not get any points. So we go up two possessions with ball. Now, if I wasn't getting ball at halftime, I definitely probably would have went for the... I said definitely and probably, right? That's... Uh, an oxymoron right there. I most likely would have went for the touchdown. Now, right here, to begin the half, look at RG3. Just, oh, oh, look at the hurdle, though. Look at the hurdle. This man is out. Whoop, another hurdle. Getting into the end zone, giving us a 24-7 lead. Now, right now, with it being limited minutes, I really feel like it's going to be very tough for him to come back. He's going to have to score, score quickly. And either get some onsides or play really, really, really good defense to go on ahead and for him to have any chance of coming back. So, obviously, he needs to score quickly. So, now he's taking deep shots. As you see, he's chucking the ball up, trying to go on ahead and score as quickly as possible. Goes for a screen play, but our boy McCoy has other plans and he ends up getting the sack before the screen even develops. Next place, another sack. Fourth and 27, I mean, he has no chance. He ha I mean, no choice. He has to go for it. But we end up just going for the SWAT. Swatting that down right there. Denying that quickly. The Puerto Rican trying to get a load. And here we go back. And we end up getting RG3 trying to hit the outsides again. RG3 definitely have a good game. Close to 125 yards rushing. Really quick outside pass right there to uh, Murray. And, excuse me. This, oh, my goodness, man. Nothing worse than just being sick, man. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. So, second and one right here. All we want to be able to do is a quick little fullback dive, get into the end zone. That's exactly what happened with my boy. So, right now, it's safe to say that this game is pretty much over. And this is actually the easiest game I've played so far in Season 3. You know, the first three games were tough. You know, uh, it, it, they've all came down to one possession. You know, I'm pretty much struggle the first three games even though we came away with the victory but it's definitely a game where i know i, I could have done a lot better we struggled within the first three games and actually this game we, we did way better you know being able to get stops being able to score every time we touch the ball and another interception as asante samuel comes through with the interception and we end up taking that back to the house and uh, we end up scoring a touchdown so uh right here 38 7 did I say something similar? <coughs> 38 to 7. I'm sick, man. Forgive me. Forgive me. I can't breathe. Can't think right. Just no, nothing Nothing is, is going right when you're sick, man. It, being sick is the worst. It is the worst, man. Especially for somebody who doesn't get sick as often as I do. So when I do get sick, it's, it's death. It's damn near death because my body's not used to it. I mean... <sighs> I see people get colds all the damn time, and they just get the sniffles. I get the cold. I can't breathe. My throat's swelling up. My lips are swollen. My eyes closed shut. My forehead is, is you can put an egg on it and freaking fry it. It's, ah, oh man, I hate getting sick, man. <coughs> it sucks. But uh, like I said, just so far, this right here was definitely the easier of the four games, of the first three games that we've played. And uh, it, it's nice to get back into winning this way you know the first season really didn't have too much trouble second season besides the super bowl the game that i lost really didn't have any issues with anybody so the first two games they, they were definitely tough and i'm like okay the competition is going to be a lot tougher a lot stronger and um we finally get back to playing excellent on both sides of the ball so uh, like I said, man, this game is just pretty much over. And hopefully it, it continues. You know, we don't want to be able 
to have any type of losses uh, this year. You know, hopefully we can just continue our streak of playing well and being able to, you know, win games. You know, if I could struggle, none. That would be terrific for me. You know, I'm not looking to struggle. You know, I hate being in close games. I mean, they are better for YouTube, obviously. You know, the closer the game, the better the dramatic effect is. You know, obviously, you know, uh, a 52-4 to game is nowhere near as great as a 61 to 62 overtime nail biter. But if I would have it my way, I would blow people out all the time. I don't like being in close games. They 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 play with my emotions too much. They hurt my heart. It's too emotionally draining. You know, I would much rather be in these type of games than close games. You know, like I said, the first couple games were very close and this is uh by far the the biggest gap that we've played so far this season. So and we enjoy it. And right here, look at Cushing coming up with that pick, though. Look, yo, Cushing is a beast, man. Y'all told me to get rid of him. And y'all, <coughs> excuse me, y'all said get rid of him. No, I'm playing. Y'all told me to keep him. I was trying to get rid of him. Y'all like, no, no, get rid of Cushing. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. So far in our road to the Super Bowl, we are 4-0 to start the season. Don't forget, tonight, 10 o'clock, I'm uploading a game against the 98 overall team. So be here to check them out. It's your boy GS and I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.